Now, if you look um, to Kathy's left, we have Stacy, and look at her instrument. They, these, they're related, actually. Um, yeah, Kathy is playing, what well, I guess, the regular cl clarinet, clarinet in B flat, the so one you see most often, and Stacy is playing the bass clarinet. Now, you can tell it's bass, it's lower, and you can tell it's lower because it's so much bigger. And that's sort of a general rule that you will see as you look at the woodwinds. The smaller instruments play higher, the larger instruments play lower. So she has the bass clarinet. And all of the instruments that you see here have other members of their family, if you will. Um, how many other members in your family, Stacy? Uh, six, eight, six or eight. Six or eight different. There's, there's a little tiny E-flat clarinet that's little, then there's the B-flat clarinet, the A clarinet, which is a little bit bigger, then the alto is next, alto clarinet, which stands about how tall? What size of an alto saxophone? Okay. And what's next after the alto then clarinet? The then comes the bass clarinet, which you have to, do you have a strap? Do you wear it with a strap? I, I She's got it connected to her support with a strap around her neck. I can use a clip. And there's also a little ped, peg, like you, if you think of a cello, a peg that you, she can balance it on. I mean, contra-alto and con contra-bass. Contra-alto so and contra-bass, two bigger ones. Maybe next year you should do all the different families by themselves. <laughs> so, but um, Stacy does have a single reed, just like the, the B-flat clarinet. And uh, her sound, because it's, the instrument is bigger, you would expect it to be a lot lower. Let's see if it is. It certainly is, isn't it? I love the sound of the bass clarinet. It's great fun. Um, So do the pitches that the bass clarinet make, does that overlap with the B-flat clarinet? It's an octave lower. It, so it sounds an octave lower. It's never quite at the same range as the B-flat clarinet. Um, it looks, just from, from my viewpoint, it looks like you have lots more keys than the B-flat clarinet. But maybe that's because of the bars connecting it. I have one extra note. She has one extra note I from the B-flat clarinet. Flat. Can you hold it up good and high? If you look at the bars going down the side, they're, I don't know what you call them, but they're connectors because your fingers couldn't possibly reach the holes where they are on the instrument. It's just way too big for your hand. So they develop all this very fancy key work that makes the different keys close and open so that you can, can play all the different notes. So it's, it's, it's tricky to get all those fingers to work. So. Um, <laughs> Let's hear your legato and your, your staccato first, your short playing, followed by your legato playing. <laughs> the clarinet, doesn't it? It's just darker. It's just a little bit deeper in, in sound, in voice. Um, and do you have a piece for us? I do. Uh, we don't get a lot of melody. That's the thing about bass clarinet. Bass the instruments in general, I think. Not always, but certainly um, the melody often ends up on top. So the um, Stacy, as a bass clarinet or clarinetist, plays more of the, of the harmonic part, of the, the accompaniment parts underneath. But I think you have a solo for us this today. This is a little clip. It's when Kylo Ren enters in okay. Star Wars, of course, Awakens. This is a Kylo Ren's entrance, Star Wars. <laughs> the movie again are we going to hear that you will hear that and and next movie you watch especially you youngsters i want you to try and listen to the music there's always music playing in the movies and you don't even notice it sometimes but some of the music we play later you'll hear some of it's really cheerful and some of it's kind of spooky and that that music that goes along with movies and tv shows and all sorts of things does an awful lot to create the mood so you want to start paying attention when you hear woodwinds <laughs> 